warm and she exudes warmth. I saw this lady present an express cooking show during one of our March road shows. After watching the response of the audience, there's some love in there, and reading the excellent feedback, we knew she would be an excellent candidate to present a cooking show at National Conference. Not only is she entertaining, but she really embraced the concept of express shows when we introduced them last year. And in October, she sold £6,899.87, over, over 15 shows, of which six were express shows. She has done express shows in hospitals, gyms and boardrooms. Do take notes, get your notebooks out, guys, and watch and listen, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the stage, Director Carolyn Warner. Famous 
rapid player has touched my jug. <laughs> I've washed it since. Anyway, genius bit of kit. You can bake in it, freeze it, microwave, dishwash it. So you can bake your uh, porridge in it, you can bake chocolate sponge cakes in it, everything. Uh, if you're a sado and you've got girls, uh, congratulations, because my husband only gave me boys. Uh, the genius of this is you can bake cakes. As you know, you can turn it upside down. Um, but just a top suggestion, please wrap Barbie's legs in cling film because she gets a nasty yeast infection when you shut them down. Just so the gentlemen know, there are instructions with this. It does say lift here, just in case. Anyway, here we have our couscous. Very exciting, never seen it before, couldn't find it in the supermarket. <laughs> Are we adding the water, Lee? <laughs> 60 million <laughs> This might take three hours. <laughs> measuring jug, fantastic measuring jug. Love it, took me three months to work out how to use it, now I use it for everything. Okay. The genius bit of this measuring jug is obviously you can do liquids and solids, which is always good. I'm just going to give that a shush, because that's what it says on the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me look professional and fabulous. And we will leave that aside, won't we, Lee? We will. I'm reduced the lemon into the prep bowl, using the citrus prep. Fabulous. Press. Didn't hear what she said. Anyway. Um, <laughs> lovely bit of kit. So you can measure your liquids solids in this is genius. If you ever make flapjacks, as you can tell, I, I don't cook real food, I just bake. Um, I have now developed a cake shelf. <laughs> it's great because you can suck the crumbs off the top. <laughs> Some of you might like to work on that for next year. <laughs> solids in the other. If you make flapjacks, it's a must. You pour your um, golden syrup in and all you do is literally go and scrape it off. It's fabulous. Really love it. Someone in my team makes beef burgers in them, but that's cooking. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so in here we've got couscous which swells. It's very exciting. Um, lemon. <laughs> Something about a lemon. Okay. <laughs> this is my prep bowl. You might have a few of these at home. <laughs> I love mine because they come in sets, which is always good because I lose one. <laughs> okay, so we're slicing the lemon in half, aren't we, Lee? Yes, I'm reducing it. <laughs> and this is the best. Are we doing the whole lemon? Does it say the whole lemon? It just says juice lemon into prep bowl. Lee sent me this recipe. As you can tell, I wouldn't eat anything that was in this recipe, but apparently it's delicious. <laughs> um, so we're juicing our lemon. As you know from Will, oh. yesterday, <laughs> you turn your lemon in upside down. Because I did it the other way and went blind for three hours. <laughs> I look really professional. I'm very excited. I measure one tablespoon of the lemon juice and add to the yogurt half the mint and one press one of the garlic and the clove. I type this, that's why it's so bad. <laughs> also can't type. So, um, into a prep bowl, and this is the big one. You can make little chocolate puddings in here if you haven't done one already, it's great. You can do them in a small one. Uh, for those of us who like to properly eat. <laughs> right, so in here we're going to put one tablespoon. Ta yes, fantastic. Well done, I've lemon juice. Lovely, no, stop there. <laughs> I've got a really short, short term memory of Helen Fox, you know, because I can never remember her name. Okay. Um, easy, adjustable measuring spoons. Love this. Uh, Mary Berry said, if you're not going to measure things properly, don't bother going in the kitchen. Sorry, don't. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put one of these 
in there. Now, I did do this before and I put the whole lemon in. It's a bit tart. <laughs> and we put that in there beautifully. Have you added it to the yoghurt? No. <laughs> There's the yoghurt. We we'll whack that in. Technical term for you ladies you might want to know is the word dollop. It's really important. It's technical, you probably wouldn't have heard it before. In that goes. Get rid of that. Uh, so we've dolloped in the uh, home. Half the mint. Half the mint. Half the mint. Great stuff. Okay. <laughs> whack out that all. <laughs> okay. So we're working out in big knives now. Very exciting big knife. Okay. <laughs> this is where the cut the fingers off. <laughs> so okay. okay. So just you know, I have we have got a vast range of knives for any budget. Thank you for whoever food you get for you. It's not going with that. <laughs> okay. We do have a range of knives. Um, I used to promote the cheaper end of the knives, but I personally think these are the bee's knees. Um, I, if you're like me, it's fine, don't worry, don't panic. Um, if you're like me and when you got married you got all your essentials from John Lewis and your non-essentials from Argos, um, all your kitchen equipment came from Argos and your knives are now dead. Um, so when you get given a sharp knife, you realise that when you go to casualty, it's easier for them to fix you if you cut yourself with a sharp knife than a blunt. <laughs> Otherwise, your knife is screaming. <laughs> you blunt your knives that way. Make a bit of a mess, that's really important. Makes it look like you've bothered to cook for your other half. <laughs> Shall I give it to you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Like my men. Now we're going to do 
Sila ang angin. Hup, hup. Ah, angin. Now, I could cut it with a knife. That would be exciting. But I'm going to show you my chopper. 